A new study suggests that Earth may have once had a ring of debris orbiting it, potentially casting a shadow and altering its climate. Around 466 million years ago, after a near miss with a massive asteroid, Earth could have developed a temporary ring system similar to Saturn's, lasting for tens of millions of years. This hypothesis, proposed by researchers at Monash University, could transform our understanding of Earth's geological and climatic history. In this video, we dive into this intriguing theory, exploring how such a ring might have formed and the evidence behind it. So without further ado, let's get started. The story begins 466 million years ago, during a period known as the Ordovician. At this time, Earth was a very different place. The continents were positioned differently, and the climate was generally warmer, except for a massive glaciation event that some scientists believe may have been influenced by an extraordinary cosmic event. Research led by Andy Tompkins at Monash University proposed that an asteroid, possibly over 12 kilometers in diameter, passed so close to Earth that it was torn apart by the planet's gravitational forces. This process, known as tidal disruption, occurs when a celestial body gets too close to another larger body, crossing what is known as the Roche limit. The Roche limit is the distance within which an object, held together only by its gravity, will disintegrate due to the tidal forces of a larger body. For Earth, the Roche limit varies depending on the composition of the asteroid. A solid body might disintegrate around 3,000 kilometers away, while a loosely compacted one could break apart at a distance of up to 15,800 kilometers. Once the asteroid broke apart, the debris could have spread out to form a ring around Earth. This ring would have been composed of various sizes of rock and dust, gradually spreading into a more diffuse band of material. Similar processes are thought to have created the rings around Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune. But such a ring around Earth would be temporary due to our planet's relatively stronger gravity. Still, the debris could have orbited Earth for millions of years before being pulled down by Earth's gravity or colliding with the planet, creating impact craters. This scenario is not entirely unprecedented. In fact, Earth regularly captures kilometer-sized objects into temporary orbits. However, a large asteroid passing within the Roche limit and being torn apart is much rarer, especially for smaller planets like Earth and Mars. The hypothesis that Earth may have once had a ring of debris after a near miss with an asteroid is not just theoretical, it is supported by geological evidence. Researchers have identified 21 impact craters around the world that date back to the Ordovician period. These craters are particularly intriguing because they are not randomly scattered. Instead, they appear to have been located near Earth's equator when they were formed. This pattern is significant because planetary rings, like those around Saturn, typically form around a planet's equator due to gravitational forces and the way mass is distributed. Tompkins and his team calculated that the probability of these craters being aligned near the equator purely by chance is just 1 in 25 million. Further supporting this theory is the discovery of consistent meteorite signatures in limestone deposits from the same time period, which were also located near the equator. These deposits contain specific types of meteorites that match the composition of the asteroid debris believed to have formed the ring. The consistency across various sites and geological layers points to a common source, likely the debris from a ring around Earth, and the alignment of these deposits and craters in both time and location provides strong evidence for this hypothesis. Furthermore, the impact of such a ring could have had profound effects on Earth's climate. The researchers suggest that the ring could have cast a shadow over Earth, reducing the amount of sunlight reaching the surface and potentially leading to a period of global cooling. This idea aligns with the evidence of a significant glaciation event during the Ordovician period, known as the Late Ordovician Glaciation. While the exact mechanisms of how the ring might have influenced the climate are still uncertain, the correlation between the timing of these events is intriguing. 
Berger Schmitz, a researcher from Lund University, describes the hypothesis as a new and creative idea that explains some observations. However, he cautions that while the hypothesis is compelling, more concrete evidence is needed to confirm that Earth indeed had a ring. He suggests further investigation, including a detailed analysis of the identified crater sites and surrounding geological formations, to look for unique markers that could definitely tie these craters to a ring-forming event. If Earth did indeed have a ring of debris orbiting it for millions of years, the shadow cast by this ring could have led to significant cooling, creating some of the coldest conditions Earth has experienced in the last 500 million years. This concept aligns with the idea of global dimming, where particulates in the atmosphere or, in this case, a ring of debris block out sunlight and led to cooler global temperatures. Such a phenomenon could explain some of the climatic shifts seen in the Ordovician period particularly the rapid onset of glaciation. However, Earth's hypothetical ring is not the only example of such celestial phenomena. Other planets in our solar system, like Mars and Venus, have also been speculated to have experienced similar events. For instance, there is a hypothesis that Mars could have temporarily formed rings from debris ejected by impacts on its moons. Similarly, Venus, with its thick atmosphere, could capture asteroid debris, although any such rings would likely be short-lived due to its proximity to the Sun and intense gravitational forces. Future research is crucial to verifying the existence of Earth's ancient ring. Scientists could use advanced techniques like isotopic analysis to detect specific grains from asteroids that might have formed the ring. These grains, if found in the craters or nearby geological formations, could provide a smoking gun for the existence of the ring. Additionally, more sophisticated climate models could be developed to simulate how such a ring might have affected Earth's climate, helping scientists to better understand the relationship between cosmic events and climate change. The hypothesis of Earth having a ring opens up many questions. How often do such events occur? What are the chances of similar events happening in the future? And what would be the implications for life on Earth if they did? These questions make this topic not only scientifically intriguing, but also relevant for understanding the broader dynamics of our solar system. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed learning about Earth's potential ancient ring and the fascinating science behind it, be sure to like, Share and subscribe for more exciting videos on space and planetary mysteries. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time, keep looking up and stay curious.